Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel and to some more Heroes of Might of Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss. In the last episode we finally beat the first scenario of the Liberation Campaign, Stadwick's Liberation. And in today's episode we are going to continue right where we left off and start on uh, the next scenario. And I just realized I messed up, I need to resave this as Liberation. Oh no, it's right here. I'm just stupid. Okay, number two is media map, deal with the devil. To win, you must capture the city of Gleesov. Some border guards can only be passed if a hero carries a quest artifact from a previous scenario, but the artifact beyond the border guard will travel with you to the next scenario. Alright, let's see. We can start with a scroll of protection from fire, scroll of ice bolt, or scroll of precision. Lock the medium. I'm just going to take precision since all these are terrible and we probably have all three of these spells on both our heroes anyways. I wonder if this is what a subterranean gate is supposed to actually look like. Sort of gives off that feeling. Also, I wonder if we're playing as somebody, as a rampart, based on what I'm seeing here, since they're talking about Avli. A letter from the leader of Eofel states clearly that King Roland Iron Fist is a captive of the devils, and that only one million, and that only a one million gold ransom keep him keeps him alive. This claim cannot be validated, but. It's Thorough interrogation of the messenger has revealed the clan Krila is holding Roland just inside Eofel's borders. True or not, the queen simply will not surrender. Clan Krila's main fortress, Klesiv, is located just on the other side of the Arathian border. You must capture Klesiv and free King Roland if he is indeed there. It seems unlikely that they would keep a hostage so close to the front lines, so be wary as this may all be an elaborate trap. The forces from Avli have come to assist us in this task. Good luck, and may the light of the heavens protect you. Okay, we only have Genova to start, unfortunately. Alright, Claxton is economics, and I guess Whistledale. It's annoying that she starts in the castle. And not at the rampart. I almost. Yeah, I'm just gonna send her up there. It doesn't really make sense to me to have her down here. Let's get Valeska. And there we go. Malcolm, I'm gonna make him just for the time being. I wanna get town hall here and a town hall here. Oh, no, I need to move Malcolm, how could I forget? And once Genova gets over to the Rampart, she'll be the main hero operating out of it. I think this is a dumb idea, but I sort of just want to get early city halls everywhere. Uh, does it doesn't look like I'll be able to make it there with Genova. Since I have the resources at my disposal, uh, I do need to get a town hall here actually.
Well, me slightly upset if I'm stuck with. Malcolm has a hero up here. I'm really just gonna have to reroll. Yeah, it looks like the only way there is going through the enemy's territory. We'll take armor. We'll take armor again. Please and thank you. 29, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, city hall here. We'll get a city hall here as well in a moment. Get a mage guild and should be able to get a city hall there next turn. Get a homestead here. Unfortunate that they don't want to join us this time. Best thing to do is double citadels, followed by nothing here, not yet at least. So, oh, I didn't flag the archer tower. Yeesh. That is a rather big mistake on my end. What do I want to make the capital though? That's the question. I think I'll go with a capital in the rampart this time. Okay. Thorgrim or Mo Uh, you know what? I just like Thorgrim better as a hero. So we're gonna make Thorgrim run around. On this side. So we make a little over... Yeah, 65-30, yep. So we want Valeska. Perfect. And Mal er, yeah, Malcolm will just be a resource runner for me. Can't get a capital, that's all we can afford for this turn. Beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. Uh, let's... Yeah, there's nothing here. So, pack of royal griffins, lots of archers. Only one centaur behind. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll just get the Griffin Bastion now. Before I somehow forget about it. I'm gonna get it. I wanna get an early treasury as well. Uh, yeah, I can beat lots of wood elves, no problem. Hopefully they join me. 36, so 26 more. Get the resource silo. And the castle here. And I'm gonna resource silo here. It's unfortunate that the griffins didn't join me. Mm, take water magic. Is there anything really worth getting in any town? Nope, I think the best thing is for me to just save up all my money. So I can recruit all these units. Definitely want to get Grand Elves and Royal Griffins here. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these units actually. Oops. We're about to run rounds with everybody. This is very important in the early game for me, especially to stockpile resources for dragons and angels. What I want to do is get everybody. Excuse me, I was gonna say upgraded. Now let's upgrade Pegasi. Very nice. Hopefully they join me? No. Here we can upgrade to Zealots. Of what else? Ooh, nice. The dwarf cottage. Let's just get the resource silo. Take wisdom. And I would like water magic on Valeska as well. Resource silo here. Nothing here, and I eh, get some stables. Take leadership. Let's visit the fairy ring, and then we're gonna go flag that crystal cavern. Oh, oopsie. Uh, 
Okay, we're not gonna spend any money this turn. Uh, I'm gonna spend 2,000 gold actually, just to get that Mystic Pond. Forty-two and fourteen. Get sixty-four more centaurs quickly. Join the army. I before I wouldn't be a terrible hero. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, deal with the devil. Deal with... How's... Deal with the devil, yes. Okay. Deal with the devil. Okay, well, let's go see what happens when we attack. No, yeah, he's our strongest. Oh my goodness, there we go. I think we'll be okay. The training ground, and might as well just get the dead droids. Okay, so I can't get anything in here, really. Uh, I would like to get that, actually. Sure. This should be winnable. Yeah, demons aren't strong, but 33 of them might do a bit this early on. I will bless my dwarves and take the Cerberi. Fly back. Wisdom, what magic, perfect. Oh, there's quite a lot here. Uh, what is here? Yeah, I'm not getting there anytime soon, unfortunately. Mm. 
But what's nice is if I clear these Cerberi, I can connect everything. Uh, angels. Angels, angels, angels. Something good? No. Oh. Something very good. It's just not something I personally want to use right now again. Okay, unicorns. We can get champions. Call again. Plus, he has some insane artifacts on him. Oh my god. I mean, thank god I have 210 centaur captains. We can just go around literally one-shotting everything. But, uh, wowzers. He's getting plus four. He's getting plus three speed, so that means he either has cape of velocity. Well, no, he has to have cape of velocity, neither ring of the wayfarer or ring of speed. If I can kill him here, that will be huge. Mm. Yeah, four Magogs is really not, or four Gogs actually. Really nothing we need to worry about. Okay, forty one. Oh, my goodness, just one short. One damage short. I'm gonna head south and see what's here. Okay, we should get some good information out of devils. However, I basically have half the map under my control at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna need, let's see, 24 crystal, I need 6 more crystal, and then I need 3 wood, so we can get this, and then next turn we can buy Dragon Cliffs right on turn 7. Ooh, Runes of Imminency, very nice. I just like to open that up for myself. And let's get Dragon Cliff. Awesome. Cinder Spire. Yeah. More towns I control, the better, obviously. I was tempted, but. So I'm not going to build anything in any of these infernos other than orders of fire. One, because I need to focus resources into the towns I actually care about, being the rampart and the castle. And two, because I don't know where they're going to be coming from.
but he just is not giving up on me. Yeah, lesson learned is that he can just send people anywhere he pleases. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Forty percent chance to resist on top of however much he has from being Thorgrim and Oh it doesn't matter, only last one turn. I'm gonna defend with the Pegasi. Okay. Since I have a feeling they were gonna get bullied by everybody. If I can get morale here. Beautiful. In a way, smack him. Cast bless. And shoot them. I wonder if he's gonna run away again. Yeah. Well, we got Mass Bless at least. The problem is, Thorgrim can't take many more beatings at this rate. For me, the town is basically right there. Uh, yes. Let me run these creatures to the town, actually. Let's get more unicorns and archangels. Long ago, powerful wizards were able to create magical artifacts, but time has caused us to forget how to make new items. I would like to learn these techniques myself, but I need one of these artifacts first to see how it was done. If you could bring me the Shield of the Damned, you would be well rewarded. Sure, I can bring you the Shield of the Damned. Once I find it, of course. And back up here, what do we need? A whole lot of crystals. Alright, problem solved. Got a whole lot of crystals. Crest of Valor. Cool. Not the strongest army, but I think for the time being it'll be enough to deal with the enemy. Especially with the armies that they've just been sending at me. Ooh, is that Nagash? It is, but he's not their strongest hero anymore. Olema is. Take back the town quickly. And send her back here. Mm, is there anything in this that's worth building? No. Uh, one bit. Glyph of Gallantry. Spirit of Oppression. Oh, I should have taken. Basic first aid, no. 
really don't need that one. Let me get rid of this. Because I would love to have morale still. This ain't dead end. I just want to double check. School of Magic, and we'll have to come back here when we can. Temp portal. Yeah, I'm just gonna start building up Claxton too, I think. Uh, we'll get the Brotherhood of the Sword here. I do need to come back with Valeska soon and just get all those units. What I'm actually going to do and start recruiting now. Ash Several arch devils. Even that's an arc. Okay, let me just flag everything, take all of this. What do we have? Eh, the dragons will be enough to probably deal with everything. Let's get a guard house, let's get a mage guild. And let's get an angel. Yes, I still think this army is enough. Oh, it's a lava. I was gonna fly them in here. Oh, there we go. That's a resistance specialty coming to handy. Wow, it's actually pretty funny it took all of their units to kill. 12 Pegasi. Side of Clevis. Because it sort of seems like it was. If it is and 100% the case, it looks like I have free range to do literally anything and everything right now. see what that Sears hut wants in a sec, but we're just gonna get all the power-ups with everybody in the meantime. Uh, we just need to get units here and really nothing else. Okay, another Sears hut. I guess now, realistically, I can start building everything up.
Okay, that's weird. Oh, there it is. I spent my life buying, selling, and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces I can hardly turn a profit. I think I may be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. If you could bring me the Tome of Fire Magic, I, sh I will reward your efforts. Alright, well, let's see if we can find the Tome of Fire Magic at some point. They can just continue running routes for me. All that's left to do is get mage guilds in the towns that I care about. Portal of Glory, easy peasy already, and we just need to trade two crystals. Oh, prayer and town portal in the same place. Thorgrim needs to visit there, as does Valeska. Okay, well Thorgrim can start heading down this way. And Valeska can head towards the rampart side of things. Visit this learning stone, get the Garden of Revelation. Visit the rampart and get the spells from that mage guild. Oh, Thorgrim's already visited that. Okay, he needs to visit this one though. Uh, I would like to just get a castle here, actually. Mm, no, 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 no. We'll get, we'll get training ground at the end of the week. Three weeks here, so I mean, that's quite a lot of units, but what I'll do is now I'll get the castle now and then we'll worry about everything else. Oh, did they have a. I can't remember what the thing was called. Uh, uh, Cover of Shadow, I think. Sort of seems to be the case, unfortunately. Okay, Valeska has everything she needs in here, so let's just go clear out this. Now, I'm making good progress here. It's only 38 minutes, and I say I want to say I'm rather close to winning. So I may break my hour limit. Hang on. Oh, we've already read this. Yes. Yes, the Sword of Hellfire is... Or, this Sword of Hellfire is perfect. Now, if you'll kindly give it to me, I shall pay you what, you know, what I promised. Okay, get another Seer's Hut done. With that. Get a Griffin Bastion. And Thorgrim needs to visit. Got a castle gate in here. So I can easily hop between towns. Got that power up. We'll get this. And then we'll just have to run Learning Stone and Marletto Tower. It was a fully built town, very good. It's another fully built town. Both of these are limited in the same way? Yes.
I forgot to build, but that's okay. I have plenty of money to spare. I have 131 mercury as well, so... If I really wanted to, we could get, yeah, 26,000 gold. In a matter of seconds. Okay, seems like everything has been visited on this side for Valeska, so we're just going to use the castle gate to jump back. Let us visit this Marletto Tower quickly. No, she needs to do this, and now she can camp. Okay, uh, no, that's the wrong one. I say that's the wrong town, but it really isn't anymore. I think by the time she gets back, it will be the right, will be, not the right town, but it won't matter. Uh, no, we'll grab the learning stone last. We're gonna have to get the mage guild first and foremost. Beautiful. Now if only they both could get earth magic. That's all we need and then they will be all set. Yeah, it's a pretty good army, but we're just going to camp with Valeska for a bit. Part of me has a feeling it's just going to somehow be unnecessarily long and or obnoxious to fight pit fiends with that army. It's not going to be hard, it's just going to be annoying more so than anything. And I feel like I'll somehow end up losing units that I don't want to lose. So we're just going to go take a bit of a longer run here. Hmm. To think in the last scenario I was having money problems almost for the entirety of it. Uh, we need to grab 140 extra centaurs for Thorgrim here. Upgrade. Upgrade. Recruit everybody. Run back. Let's head, oop. Let's head back here. We need to see what's in this portion behind those devils and then we can probably just go attack but first let's go turn in the shield of the vent no no we need to run to this mystical garden Oh, we didn't visit that with Thorgrim. Whoops. I'm sorry, I just had to get that explored. That was sort of annoying me. Ah, uh, excellent. What I needed. Uh, here's your reward. You still wish to trade the Shield of the Damned, yes? Yes. We will go see what the seer has to offer in exchange for 
the Tome of Fire Magic. Ouch. That's fine. <laughs> Bad luck all around, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have people do any more weekly route running, since it just seems a tad bit unnecessary at this point. Yes. Okay, uh, that's really good, I'll take it. Need to head over this way with Valeska as well, in case there are any very good power-ups. One of your soldiers cries, ambush! You have just enough time to draw your weapons. No. Quite the ambush. A lot of refugee camps here. Amnesty Village, Wyverns, Nymphs, and Familiars. Torg's Tavern. Okay. This is just going to show me stuff I already know. That shows me in there as well. Yeah, that's super weak. Cool. Powerful wizard owns this tower. He refuses to let you pass unless you bring him the badge of courage. Okay. What about the other one? Okay, I wasn't expecting them to beat those. Pendant of life. Uh, Genova has bought. Ugh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hop to Serenity in a second, actually. I can do that. Lovely, and now we're gonna go defend our towns. Uh, I really don't mind them taking everything again. Since I was able to make my way back here already. And it's gonna be literally impossible for any of them to pose any kind of threat to me. It's just annoying I have to reflag everything. It's like, it's not a terrible army. It's just. Mine's a lot better. I 
And I mean like a lot better. <laughs> oh, I actually lost a dragon. Hundred and thirty. Oh, some class. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, we'll flag this again. And all I need to do is probably just put a hero outside of the town. That hero being. Valeska, probably. Awesome. Okay, I got what I wanted for her. Well, almost got everything I wanted for her. I would like to get... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Earth magic still, but I did get water magic. Now we need to trade over Crest of Valor. Pendant of Life. I'm going to give this to her. Just in case the enemy tries anything f funny. I'm gonna take the town again. Combat this what I oof. I say I lose what I lose and it's quite a big hit there. Okay, there's just a teeny bit of map left to explore. And I sort of want to get it all explored. I think even if I end up passing turns like this constantly... Using the Pendant of Life, you may open the gate and pass through. Yes. I was going to say, even with Pendant... Er, even with these weeks passing, I don't think they'll be able to beat Valeska. Maybe we'll take this so he can hop around with Earth Magic. How close is she to leveling up? Really close. To head to Center Spire next turn. Like this. Awesome. So, yeah, it's time to finish everything. Uh, no, I lied. It is not. She visited, so the last thing we need to do is have Thorgrim get that. Is there anything I would replace 21 gold dragons with? Yeah, 55, 55 champions just so we can fly. Cool. Alright, well let's save this as deal to double one. And see what happens. Alright.
clan leader. That's his name. Interesting. They got slowed. Oh, well, we're just gonna one shot these guys basically. Need to just get my marksman ability to shoot. Well, bless. That yeah, won't make a difference. Alright. Yeah, so Cave of Velocity, Necklace of Swiftness. I completely forgot this one existed. I don't know why, but there we go. I'll have to take Ballistics. And at least she was able to catch up in levels. At the end, Tan has been vanquished. Congratulations, you have captured Clevis and are victorious. Well, that was good. Quick, nice, easy scenario to continue things. Alright, well, we like just said quick and easy, that was Deal with the Devil, the second scenario of the Liberation campaign done. A lot shorter than Studwick's Liberation, that's for sure. But anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. With that done, we will be starting on the next scenario in the next episode, which is Neutral Affairs. But until then... I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, take care, and goodbye.